Well, good morning, everyone. It's an absolute privilege to welcome you back to Dartmoor, where, as you will be able to see, in some glorious, snowy conditions, oh, it's, a, it's a privilege. It's special, I mean. Uh, it might be uh, in a bit of mess at the moment, but when it opens up, wow. Spectacular views we're gonna get, some fantastic photos, I'm so confident. Oh, but just, just make sure to enjoy it. Get some good photos because it's not often it happens, even though we're up, and I are up here on Dartmoor. But it's been a while since we've got a good, proper two or three inch of snow, even though that does definitely not seem like many to a lot of you, I'm sure. But yeah, wow. Uh, we're heading towards the mast at Princetown. I might try and head to Hollow Tor. We're going to try and hit Fog and Tor Quarry at the same time. Not at the same time, after, you know the drill. Bit of landscape photography in the snow on Dartmoor. I hope you enjoy it. That's, uh, oh, it's just, wow. Yeah, speechless so far is just absolutely incredible. Yeah, wow. Hello everyone, so we've now reached North Hestry Tour as you're able to see some ponies grazing on the grass covered by the snow. It's looking really nice. What a beautiful scene. Yeah, really nice. Just gonna have a quick break, grab some hot chocolate. Hopefully this mist is clear. If not, we've got one composition planned where they're gonna go to Hollow Tour and then we're gonna go to Fogging Tour just above and then just see what happens because Dartmoor, ever-changing weather, ever-changing conditions, ever-changing opportunities for photography. But yeah, get some hot chocolate out because I am dying for some. <laughs> it's just incredible. Up here this morning, it's just absolutely stunning, yeah. And a nice hot chocolate too. <laughs> I have tried to get a few photos of the uh, ponies down there. I think I might have got one or two. There's a chaffinch lands on the beacon thing up there. It's quite nice. But yeah, it's quite nice. <laughs> Playing around. <laughs> But yeah, I'll just quickly show you those um, pony photos. If I got any on the way up, I'll show you them as well. Wow, there's a few gaps in the cloud. I can see towards Great Stable in snow. We've still got this bit of mist. Oh, this is so nice. This is so, so nice. So of course, got the trusty old style. Probably my favorite one. I've got to grab some pictures. This is, oh, these conditions. 
insane. Oh, I've got... This composition is always really hard and I don't know why, because I always take it, you know, but I just want to get all the angles, you know. It's not always in snow. <laughs> oh, wow, this is... Oh, that's so... Yeah, this is just incredible. So as per usual, even though my main composition here is of a good old style, I've just seen down over that way, there's pine trees just have a slight dusting of snow on them, which I think might make a nice picture if the f mist might actually, looks like it's coming back in. But if it does reappear, I'll be sure to grab a nice photo of that. Just grabbed a few here of the style, so I hope you like them as well. Yeah, beautiful morning so far. I hope you're enjoying it. It's nice and peaceful, I'll tell you that. But yeah, I hope you like these photos. Right, so I really hope you like those photos. Now I've actually just came down a bit on this road track here, because I think I've spotted a really nice minimalist composition of some lone pine trees just separated really nicely. As this mist looks like it might be coming back in. No problem though, because it might just stop the snow from melting just a bit. It is starting to melt, as you might be able to see on the barbed wire here. But I'm gonna set up, we're gonna take that nice composition. Oh, I've got to be quick. Come on, tripod. Right, I'm going to have to ditch that. I'm going to have to ditch that. Get the camera out. Oh, you should be able to see the pine trees with some gorgeous sunlight. Just, oh, look at that. Go on, Tom. You've got this. Oh, yes. Perfect. Make sure I'm grabbing a few high burst. Yeah. What a gorgeous scene. What a absolute. Wow, look at that. That is, wow. Oh, that is. <laughs> wow. <sighs> Sunlight. <laughs> oh, what a scene. This is absolutely stunning. Wow. Right, let me just grab this composition of these old pine trees. Actually got bear down tall out of the back as well. Just grab a few more, really nice. Um, the pine trees behind are adding a really nice backdrop, especially with the snow. Anything else I can see? Just checking the landscape. Anything else? No, maybe. There probably is. <laughs> wow. This is, wow, yeah. I really hope you like those photos. I think they're absolutely stunning. Just got the uh, 45 to 150. Basically what I'm gonna do is just zoom out a bit with the wide angle compared to the 75 to 300 because this landscape is just incredible. What a nice wide angle shot, which I think would make really nice photos. Yeah, got a whole hand tour. Whole hand. Hern Hall? It's either Hern Hall or Whole Hern Tour, just over there. Yeah, let's get some photos done. Because this might melt and you never know. Oh, there's a composition over there. <laughs> They're everywhere, I'm telling you. Right, so I've grabbed a few more photos. Got one of, oh, actually, as that mist just develops and goes in front of the tour there. I'll grab a photo of that. Might have got a few more there, but um, I might have just got a nice minimalist one with um, some people they might have just seen in the corner of the frame. But I think this position, these compositions, done now. So I've got to get a move on, got to make sure they uh, visit the locations I want to. Well, there's still snow there. Just head down there now. Um, hollow tool, 
fog and tall quarry. Boom, boom. Hope you like these photos. Right, so I'm just paying a quick visit here to Rondo Stone Tool, just to see if there's any compositions for a head south towards Hollow Tool. I don't think there is, but actually, as I say that, as per usual, the change in weather is starting to open up a bit. There's a bit of rocky outcrop there. I'm just going to grab one. Um, yeah, decent composition, nothing too special. Uh, oh, actually, I'm gonna wait here because those pine trees I was talking about earlier just starting to appear and I think they will. Right, let's get set up. Good job I uh, made a quick visit here because I think we're gonna get a nice photo. Well, once again, what can I say? What an absolutely stunning view. Wow. Oh, there's so many compositions. I'm gonna fly through them. I try and talk you through a few, talk you through a few, talk you through a few of them. There we go. Yeah, but um, oh, there's another composition there. Oh wow, just incredible. <laughs> So I've got the 300 millimeter back on, just picking out different compositions in the landscape is absolutely beautiful. Settings, I'm using a um, high aperture, so around f11, f13, just to grab all the detail. Oh, it's, because it's so, so nice. A high shutter speed as well, because it is a bit windy. What a view, I mean, I've got to crack on, but I'm, I'm just gonna have to stay and just grab all these photos because it's just absolutely so special. I hope you're liking them. I'm hoping doing a nice job of the video. It might be a bit of a chaos. Right, let me grab some more photos. <laughs> But well, I hope you like those photos and I've just managed now to somewhat head away from the tour. How can I not just want to stay and take photos when you're absolutely blessed with the opportunity like with that absolutely gorgeous scene. Change of plan, we're gonna to head to Fogging Tour Quarry above it. Hopefully we get a nice scene, a nice panorama looking down on it, maybe a bit of snow. If I head there and there's not much snow, I might rethink it. But there's quite a few people on Hollow Tour, so I might head back that way, but of course, probably change. But for now, on to Fogging Tour Quarry. Well, I know you're probably thinking, Tom, that's not the way to Fogging Tour Quarry, it's that way. I've come to a familiar composition, which hopefully my uh, viewers of the channel would recognize this gorgeous scene here. Wow, oh, it's just so special. Ah, oh, wow. So, portrait, you'll see the composition here. The fence is gonna lead you down into the roady bit there with the pine trees, up to old Missy. Great Miss Tor has revealed herself, looking pristine up there with a nice white coat in the snow. ND Grab's gonna go on to bring out that lovely sky. Actually gonna do that now. Gonna get a nice photo here, and then we're gonna try. Actually, we're next to Hollow Tour. We're gonna visit that one. <laughs> it's just chaos. I absolutely love it. <laughs> right, so I've grabbed the photo. It's looking absolutely superb. Just put the 300 on, but for now, I hope you like that portrait composition, and then we're gonna jump into a few more, shall we? <laughs>
I've not even made it about 40 meters, but, but, there's always a but. That composition that I'm gonna take right here is probably the best yet. So I'm gonna get set up and I'm gonna talk you through it because it's absolutely stunning. Might have to actually grab the photo now so there might not be any more sun. Not sure, but I know it's gonna be a lovely photo. So just setting the tripod up here, these clouds above us here, if I can get a bit of sunshine, probably best of taking it now to be fair, against the dark clouds, against this lovely um, sunshine, against the snow here, that'd make a beautiful composition. But I think that might not happen as a stiff leg. Oh, it's just, yeah, absolutely stunning. And here we go everyone, here's our next composition, probably my favourite photo so far. What a gorgeous scene we have right in front of us here. Camera and the tripod is in pano mode, everything is level, fingers crossed. ND grad 8 footer is on, it's going to help darken the really ominous clouds above Great Mist Tor and the pine trees in front of us. Um, making good use of the um, snow lit up by the sun in our foreground. Middle ground has got those lovely pine trees and then the background's got great mist and the ominous clouds out the back. Taking it into like a uh, four to five shot pano and I definitely could take it in landscape with, one, with just one shot, but I think just the opportunity to take it in a pano is just gonna really make this uh, photo come alive. If you know what I mean, just gonna take one here now. So 320th, 320th of a second, sorry, F13, ISO is 200, I believe, just like so. That looks absolutely perfect. My favorite photo so far, and therefore, I hope you like it. And so I hope you like that photo and fingers crossed it came up well in pano form but I did just take one in landscape just in case to be on the safe side. But I just want to actually talk through this composition in a bit more detail in terms of balance. So we've got white tool there, there's one uh, part of the composition. We've got these pine trees here, two parts of the composition, no I won't do that, sorry. <laughs> Uh, the third bit of this composition is these pine trees here. Fourth, great miss. Six is the, uh, I can't do it now, the clouds. Seven is the snow and eight is these three rocks here. The whole scene is full of things for the eye to look at. Um, so in terms of the balance now, let's just change the settings quickly. Uh, these pine trees here are helping balance this side of the frame. Whereas these pine trees here are helping balance that side of the frame. And of course, great mist, nice and prominent in the middle. The scene is absolutely stunning. Yeah, wow, it's an, been an absolutely beautiful morning up here on Dartmoor, for sure. Yeah, the snow's just starting to melt over on Roos Tour, where we last went for our Dartmoor adventure. But yeah, well, I'm gonna head to Hollow Tour. We better see, someone's still on it now. If there's no snow down at Fogging Tour Quarry, um, I think what I'll do is I'll just spot some more compositions and I'll probably think we're nearing the end of the video. So I hope you're enjoying it so far. And if not, I hope the photos are doing it justice.
And there we go everyone, so I've made a short journey from Holo Tour to Hernho Tour here, which is about 500 meters away from each other. But Holo Tour was, there's not many compositions there, it was getting a bit busy, but I did make a small snowman, which was pretty cool. Uh, poured myself a nice hot chocolate, which was very nice as well. But yeah, um, I came here to say my goodbye. There's a pretty decent background behind me, I'll tell you that. Uh, it's just been an absolute privilege to be up here on Dartmoor this morning in the snow it's just this landscape is absolutely beautiful yeah uh, one quick thing i want to talk about is you would have noticed that um i've been in a small area um actually but i just want to say that on dartmoor the absolute best thing is that there's compositions everywhere for such a cons um, confined small space that you can work in which i think is absolutely fantastic but yeah there's some ominous clouds of rain heading towards us. Definitely too warm to snow, I'll tell you that. But I just wanna um, say a massive, massive thank you for watching today's video. Um, of course, it's been an absolute privilege to bring you along and to get some nice photos. So I hope you all like them. Um, do feel free to comment below which one was your favorite. But yeah, as the sun disappears, I just wanna say a massive thank you again for watching today's video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you've not subscribed, please do feel free to subscribe. Yeah, thank you very much for watching. And hopefully I'll see you all soon.